Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again with, uh, I think it's update 4 on the buddy mill with Paul, Paul Millity Modeler Paul of the uh, HMS Dreadnought. <coughs> I think we're at sort of similar stages to where Paul is, I am. So we'll go through everything, we'll, we'll, uh, we shall zoom in, this service isn't fastened down yet, top deck will be done today. So let's have a little zoom in and let's see what we can see. I'll turn it round. As you see, I've got it on the stand since last time. So we'll go down this way at the moment. So I've got the anchor, uh, the anchor chains to go on, obviously the main gun. I've got the uh, captain's you know, bridge superstructure to go on. I've, if you can see, I don't know if you can see them, but I've actually done the, uh, you know, the wiring from the funnels down to there. I've done that as well on both funnels. Maybe you can't quite see them. I should have done with a thicker bit of uh, easy line. Was a bugger to do as it was, so I'm going to take them off and do it again. So they'll stay there. Right. Let me look to the side. So the weathering is nearly com is back complete on the side now. It's got a bit more algae to go on the uh, on the hull red. So we'll go from the front. Sorry, we'll go from the front. They've got anchors not to go on there yet, and other bits and pieces. There's a little bit of wire. And I added. I done a bit of weathering on there. You can see the green algae, and I've put the actual these little uh, vertical plates on. I've uh, been told they're drains from the decks or something, so that's what they're for. Oh, but they weren't with the kit, but I had some that. It's the same uh, plastic card that I used for the, uh, for the thing around the outside of the uh, decks for the, uh, for the netting to go on to. So, yeah, but it's got a little more, a bit more green to the uh, hull red. And I think we're there with that. And then uh, Dreadnought on your server side is obviously the same. That's the same. The deck is actually on now. This deck is actually fastened down now, which I've done. And I put added all the um, little bits and pieces on there, apart from the railings, the rear masts on. That's done. All the bits and pieces are actually done on there now. I've just took two barrels out at work because I know that part's finished apart from the railings. I've got a 12 pounders there and a smaller gun there as well. And there's a little piece, obviously we've got the captain, the uh, the bow flag to go on. And there's actually a little piece like a, a walkway to go on, which I'll show you later on. That goes actually just off there slightly as well. So there's that to add. And the same on the front again. They've got a the flag on there. <coughs> on the insides, we've I've used some of the uh, some PE I've uh, got with me deck. And if you where's my pointing stick? Where's a pointing stick? Hello. If you look on these parts here, these reels, where are we at? I've took them, made the reels out of them, and wrapped them with um, cotton, thin cotton, and just done a khaki wash over top of it to uh, bring them down. Just something that looks a bit like that. And we've done the same on the sides here. Just maybe behind that, uh, there we are, just in there as well. We've done two of them on each side. <sighs> I've added one ladder this side as well from one of the main funnel. So the first funnel, there's a ladder down there. Goes up to there. You can quite see that. A little bit of ladder there. Let's turn it, maybe see better there. Obviously, we've got all the uh, windows have all got, uh, what's it called again? If you remember it, glue and glaze. So I've got glue and glaze on there. And I'm possibly going to do the portals as well. I'll see how, hand, how, uh, how we'll go out, have a practice first. But obviously, I've got to weather this, this deck first. This has to be weathered yet to match that. Well, obviously, not the green, but the general weathering as well. So most of the superstructure is done, really. It's just this uh, the front part with the captain's, you know, weather bridges and things like that. And a few step ladders to go in. I've got a few little step ladders in. And I've got the railings on, some railings already on there, and the searchlights. And um, we've got a bit of railing at the rear, there we go, on there as well. Covering the searchlights. Obviously, got all the boats to go on yet. But generally, I'm happy, I'm very happy with it. See, with the guns, got the guns on there. Two of them on. Where are we gone? Where are we gone? Oh, there we are. Look quite nice, I'm quite happy with those. 
next time we'll make a blast bag a little, a little small one I think I think there's a bit on the large side but we'll be okay for this build I'll, uh, I'll know what to do next time get more a bit more texture on there and more of a sag on them but I'm quite happy with them yeah, but the uh, rear mast there See, so basically all the uh, upper deck is finished nearly now, roughly. Give or take a few bits and pieces, which I'm going to do today. I'm going to start weathering that deck today, so then I can um, get it fastened down. Uh, well, Paul was saying yesterday about the... Uh, he's made some um, pulleys for his uh, for the masts. And I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, luckily, I have some PE parts again that came with one of my decks and I've used them um, I, thought, I thought they were going to be for reels so I made two reels on the, on this mast on this uh, main mast one at the bottom one up there and what I've done I put a piece of cocktail stick in there so it can run the, re the easy line from them as well so I've got the searchlight in as well with the, uh, the PE and there's the little uh, Pulleys. Um, I've done that on mine. I've made them black at the top. I've seen a few pictures with the uh, 2015, uh, 2015, 1915 version. There's a little bit of black on the mast. I made myself done that on there. And on the boom that comes off the main mast again, I've added another pulley. Where are we? Let me see. I've added another pulley to that as well. So that's going to be fastened onto the main. The main, the main mast with the easy line and things like that. Like Paul said, otherwise it looks silly with uh, just there suspended in midair. There's a cracking idea by Paul, so I pinched it. I let it go myself. So we've got those two done. Maybe uh, just be the, 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 the width between them, maybe a bit on the large side, but it's okay for now. I think it's fine. Obviously I've got the easy line to go around that as well, so that will uh, just hide it, but sort of at least it'll work, put it that way. <laughs> uh, anchors are done. We just need putting on. Oh, here we go. We've got a little tinge of algae to those as well. So they're ready to go on. Quite happy with those. Yeah, all I use is all the um, weathering is with oils. Every part of it is with oils, apart from the... No, it's all oil. Yeah, it is. I use... Oh, neutral grey, dark grey. Where's my palette? It's dried up now, so I'm going to have to get some new stuff in there. This is the palette that I used in here. It's dried up by now. So I've got neutral grey. I've got burnt umber, raw umber. Uh, rust. Rust patina. Um, light grey and starship filth so that's what I've used for the lower deck most of them are used and mixed them and whatever so I might get away with them today if I had a bit of thinness to them we shall see we shall see if I uh, pitch them yeah these come in great my wife has um, she used West False Nails now and again and she gets them in packets like you know, like this. And they come in packets like that. So it's brilliant for adding uh, you know your little bits and pieces that you're building. So what have we got in here? So we've got all I showed you the ships from last time, didn't I? The uh, they're all to go on yet. And I'll show you that little part that I was on about before that goes on the uh, Where's he at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Here we go. It's quite a small part, like a little gangway that goes on the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it goes on the rear under the flag. So that has to go on, but I'm not going to put that on, it's going to be near the end because I guarantee it'll it'll get knocked off. It's just like a little a gangway. So it's like a little gangway. So that's to go on, that's painted, just needs a little bit of weathering on the end of that as well to match the other things. We have some more ladders already done off. Showed you the propellers last time. Um, oh yeah, we've got these parts to go on the main mast. I've had to break them off, same as Paul, because they didn't look right when you put the mast on. There was an angle, so 
once I've got the main mast sorted out and the other support, supporting arms, then I'll put these back on. And they say they've got the uh, where we are, where are we going? Yeah, there we are, they've got the uh, spotlight on, so searchlight and the uh, railing around them. So there's two of those to go back on. A few bits and pieces in there for railings, sorry, for staircases, and other bits and pieces in there. Propellers are in there. Um, bits of peeve I didn't use, but I'm keeping. These were off of the uh, kick part, but I didn't use, and I used the, the, uh, the set I got for Dreadnought, so I'll keep all these little bits. You never know when things like this come in handy, you really don't. Little pieces like that, so keep all that bits and pieces. Uh, anything else in there? No, nothing in that one. And again, we've got these um, plastic things again, and it said PE again. Once you've got it sprayed up, you can pop them in there. And you can see on this one here, this is what I'm on about with the little bits for the pulleys and things, see all the ones with the holes in there, they're actually on the deck, I should have showed you them, I'll show you them in a second, I don't know what they're for, like drains or something, I, don't, I really don't know, a couple of little drains, but yeah, that's what they are, they took a bit of doing because they're so small, to cut off and uh, hopefully you can get a good a good cut and then you don't have to do much sanding or filing, so yeah, that's the, all these little a little dark, it's all these. That's them all there. And I'm just gonna drop a little bit of um what do I put in there? Sepia, a little sepia bit of wash inside there as well. To uh but yeah, I've got a bit of sepia wash on the top decks there as well, on the uh, deck furniture on the tops. Again this it's coming there, it's getting there, it's getting there. So I've got to do a bit today, I'm gonna get the main mast through the main uh <clears throat> the upper deck fastened down, I'm going to get it weathered first and then fasten it down. So I think that's where we are. I think that's it really, isn't it? There's nothing else to show you. You've seen all the guns. You've seen... This is the top of the main mast, eventually. There we go. This is, this is obviously we made that out of uh, brass rod. And that goes on the top of the... Um, there we are. Let's have a gander. This mast here, so it's quite a tall mast actually. So it, it does sit through there, like so. Oh, no. Just need to file that little hole out a little bit more with the paint. But it's, it's quite a long, it's quite a big mast. So, but there we are. It's quite, it's quite a tall mast, but. I just need to uh, widen that slightly because I'll, I'll just stick the paint off there but you're not going to see it because they have the, uh, which I'll show you, yes yeah, so it goes in there like so, I'll take a paint off here anyhow, so we'll, do. we'll take a paint off it onto main, main mast, what was I going to say, uh, what did I just say, oh yeah, the part of the Look out observation again, I've done the painted it like an off white and I've given it a CP wash, it needs another one now. That goes on top of that uh, main mast as well, for the crew to observation tower or spotting tower, whichever you want to call it. And we have basically the bridge part is done. That's all done, this needs the underneath sorting out now and pattern fastened to the deck, so I've got that done now. All the bits and pieces are on there, glue and glaze on the windows as well. Got those on the glue and glaze. And I'm going to have to add a little bit of wet effects to the front ones because they're going to be dull. So I'll just add a little bit of, a little bit of weather into that as well. But yeah. That's not a bad little piece actually, quite delicate, uh, quite a bit to do on there, it's quite a bit fussy, but yeah, that's okay. So I put the legs to put on there before it's fastened down to the, uh, the bridge on top of there, so we'll do that as well today. And I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to try, what about pause on about the uh, canvas covers of some of the railings and the... Uh, I got some as well. I sent. Oh, I found a company called Cornwall Boats, who do 
kit part for obviously for motorised boats as well as normal, you know, plastic models. But some of these, these are Life Boys 1350 a scale, which are going to come in handy because I have all my ships are 1350 a scale. So I was thinking about putting a little bit of canvas on around a couple of the uh, railings. Like, this is just a test piece for this, so I'm going to do, I've got that, I'm going to do a bit of tissue paper. I think single ply should be enough because you want to see the uh, the ribs of the um, railing. So I'm going to try it on there first again and see what it comes out like before I attempt to do it on the, uh, the main part. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I won't be doing it. But I'll use the life boys along the way somewhere because we must have someone there. How's that? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so now I think that's it. I don't think there's any more I can see. Um, no, I say I've thoroughly enjoyed this build. Again, it's it's different to building armour, obviously, because you've got um, you've got to build parts, paint parts of it, and then add them. You can't just slap them together and then paint them. So it's it's a nice change, a nice refreshing change. So I'm happy with it so far. We'll get there with it. We'll get there. So I think that's it, I don't think anything else I should say. Yeah, Paul's just some cracking out, he's more of a shipbuilder than me, he knows more about them than me, but I've learned quite a lot with both of us about this, the HMS Dreadnought from its different um, versions, this 1907, 1915, 1918. Things have changed, the bridge has mainly changed. I think a couple of the layout of the lifeboats has changed, and there's no, main, there's no uh, mast at the rear, but just the uh, lookout tower, there's no mast at all on them so i think the deck structure is basically the same as this one maybe slightly altered on the 2000 i say 2000 again the 1918 version which uh, i've got because we're going to build that a, a long a long way sometime yeah so i've learned quite a bit and uh what it did and what it didn't do it didn't really fire his guns in anger as much but i say revolution uh battleship design from from then on so yeah, so I say I'd like to say thank my subscribers again, um, all the new uh, for the kind kind comments. Uh, again, being lazy, not answering them. So, but I do really do appreciate them. I really really do. Some of the kind comments and helpful tips and whatever we've got, you know, people show and tell me. I, uh, you know, even if, even if it's a bit of criticism, I don't mind. You know, duck up water over duck's back. You know, as long as it's. Um, polite and isn't sort of screamed at you I don't mind I don't mind at all because we all learn as we're going along uh, yeah so I think that's it and uh, update once I've got the uh, all the all this attached um, then we're going to start the rigging uh, and I'll show you before I start doing the rigging and then we'll do a final reveal of that once the rigging's done one thing or another we're getting there me and Paul are getting there and then we can introduce our next build again, which is different again from this, back to our normal to a certain degree. Uh, yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and we shall see you very soon with another update on the body build between me and Paul, Miller to Model Paul, the HMS Dreadnought in Trumpeter 1350 scale. See you later, gents. Bye bye.